How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out our latest build for the Verona Fire Department. We're looking at this 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Verona Fire Department. Features Sound of Signals Blueprint Multiplex Electrical System with the OBD2 reader that allows us to uh, read all the vehicle signals and then control the uh, aftermarket electrical system to add enhanced safety and uh, automate some of the features of the vehicle. So up top we have a Sound of Signal interior light bar in uh, dual color. It's got the white override feature. The push bumper is a Go Rhino with two Sound of Signal enforces in tricolor with the white override. The sides are also complete with sound of signal tricolor and forces. Um, on the push bumper underneath, we've mounted the two 100N series speakers from sound off. Um, so taking a look at the side of the vehicle, we installed sound off signal intersectors. These are in uh, tricolor. Um, the APO spotlight was installed by us. They didn't equip it from the factory, so we were able to accommodate their request with that. We have sound off signal four inch M powers in dual color. Uh, one thing that we did with the vehicle is we gave them door control over the light. So when you open the door, the mirror lights up flashing so that they're not blinded at night. Back of the vehicle, we have an eight head sound off signal uh, three wire M power shroud that gives them control over um, the arrow stick and then whatever, and then the additional warning features. Um, we rewired the parking lights of the vehicle to flash with the blueprint system. Uh, then we also replaced the bulb with an LED bulb, and then we also tied that back into the blueprint system, which allows, allows them to flash the tail light. It doesn't require any modification to the tail light. On the rear bumper, we installed four inch sound off signal and powers in dry color also. The hatch open, you can see that we have four inch technique and dual color light. These are in a uh, red white configuration. They will go between red night vision and the white scene light. Um, we also installed another one up here on the trim panel here. Uh, the lights are controlled through the blueprint system so that the switch chooses the color, but it automatically shuts it off when the hatch closes so that you don't forget to leave the lights, uh, to shut the lights off. Uh, we also installed the speakers into the hatch with our specialized bracket and they're tied into the uh, future radio heads that are gonna be installed in the back. Uh, we've given them a large area for their gear to be stored. And then we have a custom command board that we made for this drawer. This is a full width drawer that maximizes the storage area that they have. Uh, we have their radio faceplate for the additional radios that they'll be adding along with Blue C's 12 volt and USB outlets. We have a parts drawer. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have our adjustable shelf system along with a uh, adjustable cover that allows them to remove the cover so that they can mount any of the electronics. So we've mounted their chassis, radio chassis underneath here, helps protect them. Uh, we also have our centralized power distribution. So it's got our central controller along with our fuse panel for some of the other equipment. And this is where all of our power breaks out from and goes to the rest of the vehicle to the other fuse panels. Okay, so taking a look at the vehicle with the vehicle now in drive, we've activated our headlight flasher so it shuts off with park kill. We've added a little bit of white into the light bar. Um, this also has the siren kill feature into it, so the siren only works when you're in drive. Taking a look at this custom console, um, we've got our uh, USB and 12 volt outlets along with our uh, audio pass through up top. We have our blueprint control panel uh, with our siren functions, our slide switch, uh, we've got arrow stick control, we've got our front scene, our left scene, our right scene. We also have control of our rear scene. We have our cruise, which does our um, low glow of the lights on the truck. We have our low frequency siren, and then we have our ignition override, which allows you to securely take the keys out of the ignition and let the uh, vehicle run. We've got our customer supplied radios mounted here. Uh, we've got a three inch pocket that's great for pens, gas meters. We have our cup holders. And then in the back, we have our portable charger mounted. And we've also installed a uh, red-white map light on the side of the console for them.